common symptom we see when working with organizations uh, is that they don't have a feeling for who their customers, who their prospects are in Salesforce, or uh, what revenue is new and what rev revenue is repeat or existing business. Uh, now, there are more variables in this scenario depending on the business. Some businesses might have cross sales or upsells or different categories of customer. Um, but for the example of this video, we're just going to show a simple process of how to automate who's a customer in your database and uh, if business is categorized as new business or existing or repeat business. So in Salesforce, if we navigate to an account, there's a standard type field. And the standard type field in Salesforce comes with the two values already in it, which are prospect and customer. This can be customized. Sometimes I've seen organizations build out a custom field um, to replace this functionality, which is uh, okay as well. It's not too, too big of an issue. Uh, and then on an opportunity, you'll see that we have another type field, which is new business and existing business. This is also a Salesforce standard field. So really we have two options here. We can leave this up to our employees to always do their due diligence and fill out the fields. Or um, if we have a clear cut process for who's new or what's new business and what's existing business and who's a prospect and who's a customer, we can create a rule that defines these values for us. So I'm gonna open up the setup menu over here and we're just gonna look at a couple basic settings. First, I'm gonna to go to the account object and I'm going to find the standard type field. So you see in the standard type field, I've eliminated some of our other options for the sake of this example and I've made the prospect value the default, meaning when an account gets created, it's going to default to the prospect value. Now, again, I understand that this can be more complex if you have different record types or different customizations in your org. We're really dealing with a, a net new implementation here or example of a clean org. Uh, so if account gets created, it's gonna default to prospect. Now, if we were, <clears throat> going to win an opportunity on an account, what we want is to flip this opportunity automatically to a customer. So before we look at that, uh, we're gonna navigate to our opportunity object. We're gonna go to our type field. So here you can see that we have new business and existing business we always want the default to fall on new business because as a default, we're going to assume an opportunity is for a new prospect. And that would mean that the business is new business. So let's go ahead and edit this field and you'll see how to create it, uh, label it as a default. In any pick list, you can click on a value and we have this default button right here that we'll go ahead and click. So now, by default, we have a prospect account and a new business opportunity. So let's look at Process Builder and see how we can automate this workflow. So I've created one opportunity process here. And if I click into it, I'll be able to see the customizations. So in the opportunity uh, process, I've labeled this as when a when we want this process to fire is when a record is created or when it is edited. Um, if we look at this first level of criteria here, I've told Salesforce to fire this first criteria when the record is new. I used a formula for this and I just said is new with the blank colons, which means it's a new record. So if this is true, we want to set the opportunity type using another formula. So let's clone this and take a bigger look at the formula. So the formula I'm using here says, if the account type value is prospect, set the value to new business. 
if the account process, uh, the account value is a customer, set the opportunity value to existing business. So right here off of one field, um, we're really just controlling what values are in the opportunity, whether it's new business or existing business. And we're controlling that off of the type field on the account. Now, the second part of this automation fires when the opportunity is one. So here, let's check our criteria. If the stage name equals closed one, now in your org, you might have a different stage name for an opportunity that is closed one, but we're using the standard closed one. And then the second part of this criteria is if the stage is changed, because remember we're firing this every time uh, it's edited. So we wanna make sure that we're only firing um, when the stage is changed. There's various ways to do that. I like adding this is changed um, criteria into my conditions. So if I now check out the update or the action, the update action that I've created on this process, I say if the account type is prospect and an opportunity is one, change that account type to a customer. So here we're closing the loop. The first level of this process is firing when an opportunity is created and it's reading the account type value. And then when an opportunity is closed, we're checking to see what the value of that account is and then we're updating it if it needs to be updated. So if you have a process like this in place, we're really trying to solve for uh, keeping a clean database of prospects and customers and keeping a clean database of what is new business and what is existing business. You can use this as a basis to expand on more complex issues or you know, more complex categorizations, uh, but this is just a, a simple example of how to start that process.